Hi, everyone. So today I will talk about an organization known as Infrastructure Ontario. So let me share my screen so that you can we can all see what I'm talking about. So this is the website for Infrastructure Ontario, as you can see on this screen here. And I will focus my attention to one particular topic here today, and that is one of the delivery model that Infrastructure Ontario has when it has several delivery models, but I will focus on one particular model, which is construction management at risk, CM at R. So uh, one of the projects that Infrastructure Ontario is uh, currently pursuing that is using this model is, um, uh, is, is one of these. And as it mentions here, under this model, the CM at R or construction management at risk, contractor is engaged by the owner to provide consultancy services during the pre-construction stage. So that means that before you start construction. So this goes through constructability review, value engineering reviews, and tender administration. So what is constructability? I have a video about that. So okay, take a look at that. So constructability at a high level is to look at construction work that needs to happen and look at that, how we can make it more efficient, how we can make it more safer, how, who should be involved, uh, how we should structure the work and so on and so forth. They are later contracted to deliver. So basically this construction consultant on this construction company is later contracted to deliver the construction project. Now, one of the key things to remember is that this contractor in a construction management at risk model is responsible for any construction cost overrun. So basically there is something known as guaranteed maximum price. So basically this contract is taking on a risk. Now, the reason this contractor can take on this risk is because of two things. Number one, they were involved pre-construction. So before the construction actually happens, this contractor is involved. They go through all the drawings, they understand the plan, they and they provide the input. And hopefully those inputs are, are incorporated in the plan. So it reduces, number one, change orders, or number two uh, is any risk associated with that. So there's a balance of the risk, and that's why it's known as construction manager or management at risk. Now, uh, um, uh, as you can see, some of the features and considerations as it's outlines here, timely completion, transparency, constructability, change orders, risk sharing, remediation of deficiencies, scheduled risk transfer, owner control, life cycle considerations, performance guarantee, innovation, construction quality, price competition. Now, one thing it's not there, and sometimes many project managers I have seen make this incorrect assumption, regardless, of who you pick from through a construct or procurement model, uh, for example, construction management at risk, safety risk is never transferred to someone. When someone is injured or hurt, it's a human being who is injured or hurt, and whoever is the owner ultimately is has to take on responsibility and is fully accountable uh, for safety. So safety is a shared responsibility and everyone is kind of responsible for safety. You cannot and you will not be able to transfer that risk to anybody else, regardless of the procurement methodology we use. So that's all I wanted to cover today in this video. That Infrastructure Ontario is a government body, provincial government body for the province of Ontario in Canada that oversees many different types of procurement model. Today, we covered construction management at risk. Not everybody is familiar with this methodology. I actually personally didn't use construction management at risk. I used DP, EPC, EPCM, and other models. And we will cover some of the other more traditional models in the next videos. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Click like and subscribe so that uh, you can continue to enjoy this type of video. Hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.